everyone, how are y'all doing? This is Silent Phil, and welcome back to Silent Phil's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Let's Play 100% Narrative Walkthrough, however you like to go for it. So, before I really start this next part, I just wanted to let you all know where we are at, uh, or get, keep, uh, make sure you all are following along with me. We are at 5.88% completion, um, and we have done a lot already, but there's actually more that we can still do. However, I am the type that only likes to do things when they are most convenient. Uh, listed are a few things, um, that I'm about to say that could still, or that we could still do to boost our percentage, such, uh, which is the paramedic, the vigilante, the game tags, and the eight track. For the paramed paramedic and vigilante side missions, there are points later on that make them a hundred times easier. Uh, for the game tags, there's a certain mission that comes up pretty quickly, which gives you an unlimited item for each completion. As for the A-Track, you must have at least 10% driving skill to enter, but since the car is difficult to handle, we're going to uh, tackle it much later on. So what we should have completed are the cycling skill, maxed it out, courier, BMX, all six available safe houses, burglary, pimping, fire truck, taxi, a lot of money, and once again, 5.88% completion. So, where are we going this time? Well, there is a reason why I wanted to do that quick little update to make sure you all are with me. Oh, that was kind of cool. Kind of, but yeah, that's good. Anyway, so, uh, if you noticed where, where I am heading right now, just kind of look at the radar. And, uh, see, there is a shortcut that I can take, but I want to do this the proper way. Grove Street, home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. That's right. We are finally starting these story missions, and I know some of you have been wondering when on earth <laughs> we're going to be starting that. So, as it says, walk into the red marker to continue. And this is available from the very beginning of the game. in the book we are blessed and cursed what fucking book same things make us laugh make us cry but right now we gotta take care of our business go see your brother at the cemetery come on let's bounce and just real quick uh that is you want to drive yeah that's cool Nice car, Smoke. You know me. It's not cut. Keep the value in and keep it real. That is technically a little mini mission, even though it's only a, a, a scene, a movie scene. And then it goes into this one, so we can... I miss you these five years, man. They're going to be real happy to see you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey. Good to see you. I can't believe she gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, nigga. 
And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out of my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with them essays. You know we beat them. They ain't nothing but a Look, bunch I of low lives. Look, I what the fuck are you? At least I got Prince. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit, As long bitch. as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Asshole. Here we go again. This shit's real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? Things are going real bad. Here, let me show you, running man. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. It big devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on fools first, then ask questions second. Ballers, drive by, incoming. Oh, motherfucker, my car! We gotta get back to the hood, man. It's too crazy around here. Grab a bike and pedal. Either you ain't forgotten that. Follow my lead. All right. So uh, once again, this is where the biking skills that we did at the very beginning kind of come into play. Take some, huh, CJ? Yeah. Things has changed around here. CJ, watch your back around here, man. How I get so bad? I thought this oh. was family's turf. Yeah, it's Temple Dry family. We don't roll with them no more. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so as you can see, the ballers were gonna be chasing you, so if they get right up beside you, then just speed up. <laughs> okay, that was a little. Sarge, I said. Anyway, uh, speed up and, um. Move it, CJ, move it! Quick, quickly break, and they'll stop, and then quickly take off again. Wow, okay. Yes, it has been a while since I rode on the bike because of, you know, recording times and everything, so a little rusty again, but not too bad. I think I, okay, there we go. Yeah, Keep I got up, see. Shit, a baller's car is onto us. Split up. Keep up, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you just a liability, CJ. Why so you bother coming back? Okay. Straight Wait back up. into the game, right, dog? Was it this bad before you left? You hold it up, my East day. Coast got you all thinned out, home. Okay. Anyway, so uh, yes, as you can see, just follow the character here in the with the blue marker over his head. Of course, I do know his name, but I don't want to say who he is yet until the game introduces him properly. Um. Yeah, just. Follow him directly behind him. Uh, whenever you reach that uh, intersection in the parking lot, you don't have to worry about the car chasing you anymore for now. Uh, it will return though, so just keep an eye out for that. Do, do, do. And this should be quote unquote child's play at this point of the game. You should know how to ride the bike, drive a vehicle, do this, do that. It should be easy enough. Um, but about right in this area right here is when the car is going to start to catch up with you. Again, so just keep an eye out for that. Uh, yeah, see, there they are, right behind us. And you don't have to stay behind the character with the blue marker over his head. Uh, uh, you can get ahead of him just a little bit, but don't get too far ahead. You, you just have to stay close in the vicinity, I should say. Until you make it back home. I got with them motherfuckers, though. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. Well, the last thing we need is your help. Ah, oh, man, I won't let you down. I swear. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. All right, so as uh, you can see, we have yet another safe house. This one does have a garage, but it's just another place to save. However, there's a little more to this besides, of course, being Carl's actual, ha you know, home, his real home. Um, yeah, as you see, whenever you pass missions, you'll. It's a little more logical into what the rewards are. You don't just get like five thousand dollars for completing a mission like it was in past games. Um, yeah, it's a little more logical. Like this one is respect, as we see. 
Um, but also, whenever you unlock things, like, yeah, well, we're going to be unlocking things pretty soon. Whenever you unlock things, those things that you unlock will appear back in the hole. And I'll show you that soon enough, soon enough. But for now, let's go ahead and save. And that will be it for this first story mission in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all. Peace out. Goodbye. Again, be careful with not touching the land here. Because you can't get that four star one level.